welcome to a little work week in my life. I'm about to start a meeting, but today is the eclipse. I'm working outside for a little bit, and I got these glasses. Someone was giving a bunch away on Facebook, so I went to their house and got them so we could watch the eclipse. But about to start a meeting. I have a few tickets that I've been working on today, and it is a beautiful day. Like 67 and sunny and beautiful, and I am so happy sitting in my backyard and doing my work day. Conrad, I think, are in totality. Yeah. Oh, Frank. <laughs> so cute. Work day is over. I have no makeup on. I usually don't wear makeup during the week, to be honest. And skin breathe. My face has been breaking out pretty bad since I've been pregnant. And like it's scarring, which my face has never done before, but that's what it is. So time for dinner. It's like 5:30. I'm gonna do dinner a little early and then I'm probably gonna go on a walk with Frank. But he is crying <laughs> at the closet at the pantry. I don't know why, if you can see him. Um we're gonna do tacos for dinner. So I'm gonna start that. And I'm gonna do like chips and queso and just kind of have a fun Monday night dinner. And then tomorrow we've decided we're gonna do wing night, which we haven't done in so long, but the weather is supposed to be gorgeous tomorrow. So I wanna take advantage and do a fun dinner. So tonight is tacos, taco night. All right. Hey guys, happy Tuesday. Of course, as soon as I start the vlog, Frank barks. I got the burger, but um, Happy Tuesday. It is just about after work. I've been in meetings and doing work all day. So haven't picked up a vlog, but it's a gorgeous day. And as soon as work ends, I think I'm gonna head over to my mom's house and go on a bike ride. So gotta finish up one more thing with work and then we should be good to go. So later, mom and I went on a bike ride and just about my third trimester and still able to ride a bike. The doctor told me until I felt uncomfortable that I'm good to go. And I still feel like shockingly stable and like good riding a bike. So that's what I'm doing. We are heading off to PJ's for dinner now. Tonight's wing night. Matt's almost done tax season. So like as a little reward <laughs> for like literally a few more days of tax season, we're treating ourselves to some wing night. Right, Matt? Yep. Ready? I didn't know that this was my big gift. It's his Let's gift. Go. Okay. Are you driving? Who's driving? No. You want the hot honey? Thanks. Happy Wednesday, guys. I feel like this week is dragging. I literally just ate shit walking out of my house. I rolled my ankle so badly. It's like throbbing right now. Oh my God, it hurts so bad. But it is after work. I feel like I do like work weeks in my life and then don't vlog until after work time because what am I doing besides sitting on a, like a three hour call? Like nothing exciting. So it is after work obviously. And I'm actually heading to my grandma's house. I'm gonna stop by my parents. I have to pick something up that I need to bring to her house. And then I'm gonna spend some time with my grandma and honestly give my dad a little bit of a break because he has to go over there every single day. And I haven't seen her in a few days, so I wanna go see her anyway, but definitely need to start going more often. Uh, I just feel like life has kind of been so crazy lately. And after work is always just like, so busy but going over there today and then matt and i are gonna do costco and walmart tonight too after he's like done work so we're gonna go a little bit later and do a big grocery shop but we have our friends coming over friday night for dinner so we have to pick up all the ingredients for that and that's pretty much it we haven't done a costco run in a really long time so we need to stock up on some like paper goods and protein bars just things that we don't get all that often but definitely time for us to pick up again and that's pretty much it today i am 28 weeks pregnant 
and that is the start of my third trimester so we are in the home stretch the last third of my pregnancy and I can't believe it it feels like it's going so fast but so slow at the same time it's just wild that I am already seven months pregnant and I only have two months left well three months today is April 10th my due date is July 3rd so three a little bit less than three months to go and we're gonna have a little baby here so soon but I pretty much am dressed like a bomb I threw the sweatshirt back on it's so nice out but a little like it's getting a little chilly because it's getting late out now but we've had some nice weather and I'm like so ready for the warm weather yesterday was sunny and like 77 it was gorgeous and it's just much needed I'm like so sick of the dreary gross Jersey weather I wish so badly like it is a dream of mine to be able to pick up and go somewhere for a month or two like go to Florida and spend the winter there and it would be a possibility because I work remote Matt works remote but this time of year is tax season obviously and it just wouldn't make sense for us to do because Matt is literally working like 13 hour days every single day of the week it is something I would love to do before like our kids are in school where they would not be able to do that but we probably not in our future unfortunately but that is a dream of mine to be able to do that I just feel like that would be awesome so I am almost at my parents just gonna go grab what I need to bring over and then I'm gonna go spend some time with my grandma I just got back home I spent like 40 minutes with my grandma and she wasn't feeling too great today so I left a little early just to give her some time to relax and rest um, but I'm back home I'm gonna see if Matt is ready hopefully he's ready praying to go do our errands because I don't want to sit around and wait for him and I'm also kind of getting hungry so we're gonna do Costco Walmart and I think we're just gonna eat at Costco and get like pizza and a chicken bake or whatever. I don't know, maybe ice cream. That sounds good. So I think that's the plan. Hopefully Matt will be ready in the next like 10, 15 minutes and we can get on the road. That's cool. I could use a little Ooh. something. <laughs> Everything's fun. Cute. Go outside, take a little ride if you want to. That's cool. I'm what I supposed to. There's nothing left for me. There's a little Costco haul. Let me turn the light on. Um, got Matt more protein bars. We got this chicken. I like these chickens from Costco. They're just like chicken nuggets. More tortellini. Look at Frank. Holy crap. We got this bad boy, beef chuck pot roast for $33 for this massive thing. And then we got a big thing of chicken. So, did that. We got eggs at Costco, 60 eggs, and toilet paper. And then at Walmart, we did a lot of stuff for enchiladas, so like chips. I got just like chewy bars. I don't know why I was craving those. Cheese sticks, tortillas, two things of Mexican cheese, muffins, apples, tomatoes, sour cream, more white queso, salsa, refried beans, and enchilada sauce. So I'm gonna put all this stuff away. And then probably relax for the night. We were gonna do dinner at Costco and the food court was closed. So we went to Wegmans for dinner. And I've been like really anxious about it since because I had a slice of pizza. We both had a slice of pizza, which was fine. But then we had like some of the Chinese food that is like kind of sitting out. I did not have a lot of it, but I've been like super anxious since that I'm gonna get sick from it, which I'm probably crazy, but I've been kind of in a little bit of a mood. <laughs> and yeah, 
just like anxious feeling like I feel like I can't breathe so I'm gonna put this stuff away I'm gonna go take a hot shower and then I'm gonna watch some um, Netflix for the rest of the night and just kind of relax and chill out Matt's cutting his roast up to freeze parts of it and then that's about it for our Wednesday Wednesday night right Frank Good morning, happy Thursday. You guys know where I'm off to. I'm gonna switch up my environment for the day and it's always just nice to get out of the house and like switch it up. I feel like I, I really do need that. So I'm off to Panera, obviously, if you guys didn't catch my drift. But I think after work today, I'm gonna sit down and film a second trimester recap video and kind of just chat about all my symptoms my cravings like everything that's going to be up before this video so if you're interested in watching that if you haven't already seen it i'll link it and you guys can go check it out but officially in the third trimester so i want to sit down and like talk about everything that i've experienced and yeah i can't believe we are almost done I, it's like getting real now and I'm gaining the weight fast I feel like we actually started writing down my weight every morning just like to see like it's a fun little experiment not like because I really care like I don't care if I'm gaining weight like fast I don't care if I'm gaining a lot of weight I just want to see it and I think it's kind of fun to like write it down so every morning I make Matt guess my weight and he uh, guesses and then writes down my weight on his little notepad and we keep a little tally and I only started this like a little over a week ago so it's like 27 weeks and on so we'll have it for the rest of the pregnancy but I guess that's like the important time because I haven't gained much weight until honestly until we started keeping track last week is when I started seeing my weight really like spike I think it was like a little burst um, but before that it was like maybe 10 pounds total and now it's like it's going so that's that I'm going to enjoy my breakfast and get work done I have a lot to do it's a busy day busy week I feel like and um, the weekend's almost here though I'm so excited we have nothing going on this weekend at all like I have nothing for this is the last week and I have nothing in a very very long time so I have to get make myself accountable and like really get down to business, clean my closet out, clean the baby's closet out. There's so many clothes in that closet. It's all like fancier clothes of ours, like Matt's fancy clothes, my dresses that I don't wear that often. So I bought a little like pop-up wardrobe for the basement. We have to move all that stuff to the basement and some of it will go over to the office closet. But um stuff we don't wear a lot I'll just move down to the basement because it's not that important but um yeah time to like really get in gear I feel like we've been pretty good the nursery has been done for a few weeks now and I'm just kind of waiting to film that video and get that up for you guys but the nursery is completely done maybe I'll add another shelf here or there but for the most part we are complete with the nursery I'm now waiting for the baby shower to see what I get because it still feels like empty in there but there's no changing pad there's no like there's nothing in the nursery that we need for the baby yet because I'm waiting for the shower for that so after the shower if there's still things left that we need I'll buy them and then it'll officially be done but I am going to post the nursery reveal before all that because I don't want to wait and I know you guys probably don't want to wait either so I'm excited to share it. I'm gonna hopefully have Matt film that for me or like help me film that right after tax season. So that's that. And 
I'm off. I'm pretty much at Panera now, so I'll see you guys in a minute. I'm like out of breath but was there for a little bit not too long but enjoyed my breakfast and got some stuff done I answered all the YouTube comments that have come in the past week or so I feel like I do answer all your comments when you guys comment I love being able to chat with you but I usually don't get to them right away and when I do answer them I answer like 20 at a time because that's just what works better for like my schedule. I try to get as much done like at once rather than like answer when they come in. I don't know why I do that, but um, I answered all the comments. I love chatting with you guys. And now I'm on my way home. So I'm gonna finish my little day there. Got some stuff to do and then after work, I really wanna film that video. It's gonna go up tomorrow. So I have to film, edit, and get that up for you guys like ASAP. So that is the plan. I think I'm gonna call my mom right now. I asked for my RSVPs for my baby shower yesterday and still haven't heard back from quite a few people. So I'm gonna call my mom to have her follow up with everyone on her side. And then we should be good. I can like book the table and chairs soon. I'm gonna order the catering soon and I feel like we are getting somewhere. I think all like the decor is bought and done. Besides a few little things, I still have to get tablecloths and um, balloon arch supplies. But besides that, I think we're good. And then obviously like the food, the cake, um, dessert table, all the stuff like that will have to be done right before. And also flowers. I got a lot of flower vases, so I want a lot of flowers around on the tables and maybe in the balloon arch I'll put some like fun flowers just stuff like that so we just got back from a quick little walk with Frankie before the rain comes tonight but um I'm gonna do the nails tonight at some point it's been like two and a half weeks and they looked like really good until yesterday pretty much just started picking at them so time to do them again they're super long but I did pick up this builder gel my friend recommended this they just make the nails apparently really hard and um, less likely to break since these are my natural nails and they're getting fairly long. I want to make sure they're as strong as possible. So this is the builder gel I got and I'll link it down below. Just a clear. I'm going to put it on before my polish and see how that works for me because the nails are really long and I want to, I'll probably do them square one more time and then next time I'm going to try to round them off and do more of like an almond shape see how that goes for me but the next time i do my nails are is going to be for the baby moon so i have like two ish weeks until our baby moon Apples and peanut butter snack. Cut some little pieces up for Frank to eat. I quickly just curled the hair, got a little ready, nothing crazy. But this is the new hair curled. It looks kind of dark right now. I feel like it looked a lot lighter when I first got it done, but like when I pull it straight back, it is shockingly blonde. But 
gonna film my little sit down video but I did get the nails done they look so good I feel like I never have to go back to a nail salon ever again in my life um they are like so super hard because of the builder gel it's like they almost feel like acrylics but they're my natural nail and like see how far past my thumb the nail comes and usually they'd be like breaking but they're like rock solid so happy with that i think they look super good they're gonna last me until the baby moon so now it's time here's a little bump date for you guys pull my little pants down baby is growing so i'm gonna sit down and do my um second trimester recap video make sure you check that video out if you haven't already seen it um but i feel like if you watch the vlogs you probably know a lot of what i'm going to talk about because i keep you guys updated in the vlogs as best as i can i didn't do like a full uh second trimester video like i did in the first because i feel like everything i say in the normal vlogs would be like it would be very repetitive i update it you guys with the pregnancy throughout the normal vlogs that we always do and i didn't do like a full second trimester video like i did for the first because during the first you guys didn't really know about the pregnancy so it was fun to like share that all together and keep you guys updated like you were around for the first trimester but since we didn't share it till the end of the first trimester really the second um i wanted to do it that way for the first one so i'm gonna go sit down it's kind of dark in the room i'm gonna film in so i gotta set up the lighting and it's just like a rainy dreary day and now it is getting pretty late so no sun no natural light but it is what it is when you have to film after work so i'm gonna sit down and get that done just took our weekly polaroid never actually take them on the day because we're just bad but this is baby bump at 28 weeks and i'm feeling large and in charge <laughs> definitely getting big right matt you're not in charge Big baby in there. It is dinner time. Matt is grilling outside in the rain. He has his raincoat on. He's like going in and out making burgers. And I am doing fries. So just frozen fries in the air fryer. And then I gotta cut the lettuce, the tomato. Got some sauces out. Making fun of me there I'm grilling in the rain. Grilling in the rain in this raincoat. <laughs> I love grilling. I know, I, I enjoy it too. Made a big plate of fries, got some buns toasting, which I put on way too late, but got our meats. I'm gonna put the fries on the table and all the fixings. I'm gonna feast. It's like my, one of my favorite meals recently is burger night. Lettuce, cheese, mayo, that's really it. Right, Frank? Happy Friday. I finished up my work day pretty much and heading out to do a few errands we're having our friends over tonight for enchiladas and I don't have any like alcohol in the house that aunt, like my friend would like to drink because I obviously haven't been drinking in seven months so I'm gonna grab some alcohol and stuff for her to have at the house and then Matt wanted some more which I feel very funny going to a liquor store being very obviously pregnant but like what are you gonna do I'm not buying it for myself obviously so last night we had a really bad storm and in the middle of the night I woke up like panicked that I left my window open thank god I didn't I never even checked this morning when I woke up it's gonna go run a few errands I need to grab Matt like one sodas and random stuff might stop by my parents and say hi to them but a pretty chill work day and had a lot of meetings like literally 10 to 12 12 to 1 1 to 1 30 and then 2 to 3 i had work calls so it was a busy i feel like friday is my busiest day which kind of is a little annoying just because it's the day you want like not a lot going on not a lot of meetings but oh well 
as of today i started wearing my like fake engagement ring from amazon this was like literally 20 bucks on amazon i got it before we went to mexico because i didn't want to bring my real diamond and my fingers i've noticed have been getting bigger like they're swelling and my rings are like suffocating my fingers so uh i still will wear my real rings but like when i go out or like do something special i feel like i'll put them on day to day i honestly don't even put rings on every day but if I just want like to throw on a ring on a random Tuesday, I will probably put on the fake one just because it's really loose on my finger and it just feels better. So let me know if you guys had that happen when you were pregnant, like your fingers and everything swell. Hopefully they go back down after. I'm sure they will, but um, if not, I'll have to get my rings resized because it's, it's not like dire. They still fit on my finger, but it's definitely uncomfortable and... <laughs> He is so cute. I love him. Just got home from my errands. I went to the liquor store, bought a few bottles of wine and um, vodka for Matt. I felt really funny in there. There was like tastings, and the one lady was like, "Do you want to try some?" I was like, "Oh, nope, can't do that." Um, I don't know if you wouldn't tell, or if she just wasn't looking, um, or doesn't want to assume, I guess. But um, did feel a little funny doing that, even though like. There's nothing wrong with it. I mean, I'm not buying it for myself, obviously. It just felt funny. Um, but I ran to ShopRite, got some sodas for Matt for um, mixing with his drinks. Potatoes and marinade for Sunday night's dinner, which is going to be like steaks and stuff. So that's what's up. Sun is kind of poking out. I want to take Frank on a walk because we didn't go earlier because it was downpouring. So that's that. And then when I... Get back, I gotta start making the enchiladas for tonight's din din. Frank, who's that? We just got back from our little walk. Did Frank, says he didn't get his business out earlier from the rain and he got a little muddy, so we had to wash his paws off. He's like, a mess right now. Matt is starting the chicken for the enchiladas right now. We put the chicken in the Instant Pot. And how long do you put it on for? I don't know, whatever it was set for last time. 15 minutes? 15 minutes, although it probably could be done in six minutes, but it makes it a little easier to yeah. shred for a longer time. So he's doing 15 minutes in the Instant Pot. And then my tip for shredding chicken is use the hand mixer. It's like a game changer when it comes to shredding chicken. Instead of using like two forks, I would go crazy, I feel like, but. Is that really a. That is a good hack. No, I'm just saying like, who doesn't know that? Who I doesn't... think a lot of people. I mean, anyone that has. I didn't know that until like a year ago, two years ago, maybe. I feel like that was trending like on. I well, yeah. Like that was on food videos a long time ago. Yeah, like two years ago. But if you didn't see those videos of people using hand mixers to shred chicken it's a good hack i'm just saying it sounds like you're putting your name on it so we're doing that matt i would love yeah uh i would love for matt to vacuum because vacuuming is like my least favorite chore along with laundry laundry and vacuuming are like painful chores to me so i love him to vacuum right now we have to just tidy up this house because our friends are coming Possibly in 30 minutes, so. Okay, I'm tidying up now where our friends come. There's just a few things that are like out. Matt's about to start vacuuming, like but. This. You gotta do something with this. My weight. Clean up over there. No, I haven't cleaned that corner, but. Oh, of course. But <laughs> I noticed, I do, I have this thing. What was that? I dropped it on the little uh, blue. But does anybody else have a huh? junk chair in their lives i know like junk drawers are very very common but do you have a chair in your kitchen or your house that you just throw all your crap on this is a bunch of stuff for the baby shower and honestly i just don't want to put it like away anywhere because i'm going to be needing it soon it's like all the favors that i've put together and things so and here's our little 28 week photo from i guess yesterday we did this i'm looking big our little box of all our Polaroids.
Got dinner finished. Yeah, yeah, you do have got that. our enchiladas. You do have all those. Our beans, guacamole, all the fun stuff. Yum. Dinosaur? Yeah. <laughs>